<laughs> Good eye! And welcome to today's slog. I am off to the car boot on the Lambretta. Yes. <laughs> I've just got to put this bag right here on my back. <laughs> I have. And then I'm off to Sprouston for today's car boot. Made it. The horse has made it. <laughs> That's a bit back breaking. By the way, my little back and the shoulders the feeling it and my little arms. Right, so now I'm gonna set up. Sun is rising, so I'm there. I should be able to get a bit of a tan. Got a fishing stall next door. <sighs> Very quiet. Hopefully, it'll get a bit busier. But good news, there's not people hassling me to see what's in the bag. That's really good news. Yeah, are you working? You working? Oh, it's a pain. Yeah, right. My mate, Adam Ann. <laughs> you alright? You good? Yeah, good. Who yeah. gave you that earring, Darren? Adam Ann. Who gave you that? Adam Ann. He is Adam Ant's number one fan. He is. He's and like. He knows him. He's, he's a group. He does. He he actually knows Adam Ant and that earring. And Billy Idol. Yeah, you don't know Billy Idol. I well, do. Do you? Well, oh, you can't swear. <laughs> That's my advertising rights just gone. I, I have to put the beep in. Beep, Billy, beep, beep. He, he, where, he's now getting slated. What did he do on stage, Darren? Recently, he's now getting slated for doing something on his uh, stage uh, antics. Uh, I couldn't, I don't uh, know. He's done sex specials, Generation Sex. Yes. That's what he's yeah. doing. And he's done at Crystal Palace yesterday. Yes. Steve Jones, Paul Cook. And him. Tony James from Ziggy Sputnik, Generation X, I don't ah, yeah. ah, Billy, that, yeah, here's Pop, the man yeah. that knows. A okay. Real wild one. Well, here is my store. We are set up. We have sold one bucket hat. We did, we sold a bucket hat. What else have I sold? That's been it. I sold one bucket hat <laughs> for three quid. I did. I've got all this rubbish, all this toot to sell my old fridge maggots that I used to make I, I actually I sold that actual program for a fiver oh man it's a bit desperate today <laughs> it's probably the worst car boot I've ever been to there is a negativity in the air <laughs> there is it's dull Knowing about, look, <coughs> quiet. And I might buy that fishing rod from the stall opposite. That's the that's the thing about car boots. You say you get a bit bored doing nothing, you end up having a little wonder and <laughs> see who's selling. Well, what? See if there's a bargain to pick up. The guy's fishing gear is pretty cheap, <sighs> but it's got to be a hard struggle today. I, I, I reckon it was a waste of time. And I'm really disappointed that I'm gonna have to do a bit of eBay, I think, to get shifted to this stuff, because <sighs> these people, they're not the kind of people who'd be at the Norfolk showground. <laughs> no, <laughs> they'd have a heart attack at the gate. <laughs> Very desperate car boot. <laughs> people don't want to pay any money, they just want to come and touch stuff. I have now, where are they? Football kits. Well, it was at nine o'clock. Took 45 quid. <laughs> well, I've been in three hours. I suppose it's all right. I'm sitting in the sun. But then everybody, the football kids, people, I must have folded them up 10 times. And, uh, and I tell people, <laughs> sold off. <laughs> so I can't be cleaning up after them. But, oh man, it is. It is. It's a desperate, lonely place for people. Dog walkers, pushchair walkers, no one's come here to buy anything. Car boot is dead, it's gone. Waste of time. And today will be my very, very last car boot. I will not do any more. It, it, people told me the car boot business has gone and it's gone, it's dead. It's a waste of time. The, the people haven't got any money. <laughs> and they, haven't, they just want to touch stuff and feel stuff. Exactly what they want to do. But those shoot, those have been the, the amount of people who picked them up and apparently they have been featured on Love Island. <laughs> There's a conversation I've had. 
but, but people are desperate so i know i gotta pack up and i will job lot stuff and i'll just stick it on ebay it's just it's it's less stressful <laughs> it's like the people man they, they really have lost the will they really have okay wicked little speaker okay i am now on the back of Angler Square, guys, that car boot, I spoke to the guy next to me, he said it's the worst car boot he's ever done. It basically is. So I've got my scoop right over there by the graffiti. I have my BFC because I actually like, I mean, look at that. Does that, does it say surf? <laughs> That's wicked. Graffiti artists are over there as well. Come to do a couple of pieces today because Norwich graffiti is pretty good. I'm going to put my scoot in front of there. What I've done, we're in the past there is a guy called Scoot. I've just asked the people where he is, they don't know of him. Um, he was only a young guy here about four or five years ago when I actually got the Lambretta in front and did the scoot and also a guy called Kushti. And from that I've actually made t-shirt designs which will be available when my merchandise do come to fruition. Which it will at some point. Uh, I just won't be using a manufacturer here in the UK, sadly, because nobody want to do the work. They don't want to do any legwork. They just want to do admin. So I might as well get get it done somewhere where they can take care of the post. That is my issue. I need a company to do the post. But this stuff's all right. The little staffy or whatever that. That's a bit weird. Uh, but that's pretty good. It's a nice bit of artwork. So I am now gonna take some pictures because that's what I want to do on a Sunday morning early because I know the sun's going to be up there and it's the best time Sunday morning to be in this land of graffiti in this old car park before the cars start coming in to, to park up so that's literally me the guy is like I say stripping back the paint leg and they're going to do a masterpiece on there ah oh, and a young lady's going to do a masterpiece on there covering up the masterpiece it's wicked it's cool so there is all my stuff did have an issue getting the bag on but the guy next to me helped me out which was cool does that say Sean's S it could do beans or does it say beans I don't know it's a thing with graffiti you can just make it up I haven't got a clue what it says only me still here as we can see, oh hang on, hang on, hang on. Yesterday I came, um, yes, yeah, yeah, yesterday, today is Monday. Uh, I went to the car boot, as you saw, I made that, like, it was so difficult. When I go to the car boot, I wanted to make a vlog about me having a bit of a banter, some sales. But uh, the problem is, you cannot do that if nobody's buying anything. Um, it was the worst car boot ever and Ah, oh, as a real negative point, I will never ever do a car boot again. That was my last car boot. So that was something to, to be remembered by. Uh, so this morning, I come back into the city. It, it looks like it's rain out at Bunwell. So I thought I'd come in the city and just finish off that vlog. Uh, so I just, I didn't know what to do. It's, it's a little bit like that. My ear is finally clearing up. Yesterday, I actually felt, felt myself again. Well, which I haven't really felt myself for about the last six or seven weeks. Uh, I've been in England now five weeks and I will be staying a little bit longer. I have things to sort out. I'm kind of enjoying my time here, but the, 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 the thing that I want to bring to the forefront in this vlog is I do have a life. <laughs> yes, contrary to popular belief, this YouTuber who usually vlogs every single day had a life and that's what i've realized since i've come back to the uk a year and a half in the in the hamster's wheel to get the account to break to break into youtube to earn a revenue from youtube which which i've done to a point i own a little bit of money and it is only a little bit of money lucky enough where i am right now it, 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 it's kind of even keel aha i've been waiting for the sun to come out so i can take some pictures of yesterday's artwork because, I don't know if you know, you saw the guys who were here. Uh, this is their artwork from yesterday. I weren't here. Uh, so I come back. We've we got some beans. We have um, lollipop. Lollipop. And we have the cats. Now, the cats is pretty good. That is cool, isn't it? That's really cool. Ah, cool for 
cut. Don't want it. Look across there, man. It does look pretty good in the graffiti area. Norwich has good graffiti artists, and I think that's a cat one as well. But I am liking this one now. Uh, I am. Ah, the reason why I filmed, it's been a while, right? There's things I like to do. And today, these are always with me, by the way. Look, in my, my bag of stuff, we have... I do a bit of graffiti, don't I, on my... I'm on my way around the world. But there is these guys, what they do, I think there's two or three different groups and they are constantly painting over each other's artwork uh, because this has been done yesterday. Quite surprising and that's a really nice piece of art with the inscription of paint over this. So I think there's a little bit of, there's a bit of war going on. Ah oh man, that sun is gonna be gone because I'm on a photograph with my scoop there. Ah may not have the chance but first things first if there is a graffiti war going on guys please forgive me i don't want to be part of your war but i want to play <laughs> i want to play so Ah <laughs> oh, man! Just having some fun. Right. Right, we've got to go for at the end. <laughs> I know. What a terrible vlog. I'm in a good mood. I really am. I'm really positive. I'm in a good mood. I may be off to a new location in the UK tomorrow. May not. I'll see how things go. Winging it day by day. Uh, I am at the moment. And I'm a few, just a couple more weeks away from booking my flight back to Bangkok. <laughs>